was expected. I mean, the way that man drank, only the Lord knows why he wasn't taken sooner. Mrs. Murphy, trust me, I'll take care of everything myself. Oh, good. Oh, the Mulvaney's are handling the wake. You send me the bill. Who's worried about it? You make up your mind yet? Something may be in a pot? I'm Bobby Cratch. You got a package for me? It's not a package, Mr. Cratch. It's a cassage. You got the money? Here. Get it. Always on time. What? He's never been this late before. What? The theater's on fire. Lincoln has just been reelected. No kidding. You see that? Where is he? Bobby's a hype. He had some information on those factory burglaries for us. So he changed his mind. Hey, Dell. Those guys from Vice have to watch this stuff every day. Yeah. It's terrible. It's a tough assignment. Come on, he's hung us up for the night. Hey, Lever, are you leaving with me? Or do I call the rain to have a pick up after the show? <sighs> See that? Yeah. What's up? Bobby Cratch. Oh, so what? Scratch, Cratch. For an evil off, cause of death was a massive overdose of an opiate, to wit, heroin. How massive? 80% pure heroin. Street stuff cut to about 3%. Bobby wouldn't make that kind of a mistake. Not unless you want to commit suicide. Or unless somebody wasted him. You don't have any proof of that. Are you kidding? He was killed on 80% heroin. Oh, a lot of guys OD accidentally. The pusher made a mistake. Hey, you've, been, you've been running a desk a little too long, sir. Nobody would waste stuff that good unless they want the man dead. Okay. You agree with him? Oh, uh, God. He's my partner. All right. Call Narco and tell him we're taking it over. Yeah, no problem, is it? Why should it be a problem? Hello, Jake. This is Macavin. You know that Cratch O.D., the one that happened last night? Yeah, that's the one. Well, uh, my boys think it may be a homicide that's tied into something they're working on. I'm going to buy it back from you. Del Vecchio. Got now? <laughs> it's Del Vecchio. It's a hard C. You're forced. That's what they tell me. This is Paul Shansky. No kidding. Would you like to go out and start again? No need. You'll think OD. 
You need my help in busting up the organization. We don't have any problems. We need your help. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's your first name? Hank. Good. In the first place, uh, Officer Foster, we are not asking for your help. We are getting your cooperative assistance. In the second place, the primary purpose of this investigation is to catch a murderer, not to bust up a narcotics organization. What murder? Some hype got knocked off. That's all. Are you telling me we shouldn't investigate when certain people get killed? Who cares? I care! Besides, I don't like it when my informants get knocked off. It gives me a bad reputation. Okay, that I'll buy. What do you got? Uh, a lot of factory burglaries with no leads. Bobby Cratch was gonna give us some information. And he got wasted by somebody who had access to some pretty high-grade smack, right? Yeah, you got it. Any other uh, hype pinks in the neighborhood? No. Bobby was our only one. Then we're gonna have to find one. And the only way, gentlemen, to make it to the top is to start at the bottom. You guys think you can get some other clothes? You look like a bad movie. Stand up. Loosen your tie. Well, you tie up your tie. He just said something about my tie being wrong. So if you look... My tie is right. Your tie is not loose. Uh, how can you tell who's holding? I can tell. I can smell junk. But it's still, I can spot a punk who's got a taste a mile away. You hate them that much? You don't? They're the lowest. They're the pits. They're scum. They have one thing on their mind, ripping this town apart to make enough bread to score. Believe me, they're better off dead. There, there, the black dude. How can you tell? Oh, man, look at that sucker. He's holding, he just scored, and he's high-stepping back to the pad to fix. We haven't got any probable cause. Oh, we ain't looking for a conviction. We're looking for a fink. And this one will turn, believe me. All right, what's your plan? You two guys drive up in front of him. Pull up to the curb real fast like a coming at him, and he'll wrap it right into my arms. Okay, let's do it. If you'd have stayed, if you'd have stayed back a little further, we could have run him into the squad room, you know that? Well, it keeps you in shape. All right. The big H. Was I right or was I wrong? Oh, yeah, you're really something. I'm gonna take the punk to the station. Give you guys a chance to get yourselves together, huh? Yeah, you do that. How'd you like to go back there and get the car and come back and pick me up? Uh. I didn't think so. I don't know, maybe he had an accident or something. Yeah, we would have heard by now. What are you typing? We haven't even got a body yet. We still got to book the stuff, don't we? Where have you been? You missed me. My God. What the hell happened? I tried to escape. With his handcuffs on? I'm not saying he's smart. 
I'm saying he's fast. Is that the way it went down? No, we Shut up! Man, okay, 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 everybody cool, all right? Okay. Would you put your glasses back on? Is that the way it went down? Tell him, Ron. Yeah. It's like the man said, I, I tried to escape. You're damned right. But it's okay, because I'm the forgiving kind. Especially since old Ron here is gonna roll over on his connection for us. Ain't that right, Ron? Yeah. I tell you what, though, Vichy. I'll book the junk. That way you can talk to the snitch and make sure that he's safe in this terrible world. Okay, come on, man. Come on. Thank you. Sweet, Annie. He's not a killer. You see that hype face? I saw nothing. You believe he was trying to escape? I got no reason not to. Look, I'm not working for the headhunters. Narcotics is a tough job with tough people on both sides. Yeah, maybe. But I'd still feel a lot better if we were working this caper alone. Yeah? I'd feel a lot better if I was retired already. Sergeant Clarence? Yeah. What happened to this baby? How's the man? Uh, man's always right. Time right? Depends. Got a good deal going now. <laughs> Everybody's got a big deal. Just ask him now. Just like that? Yeah, just ask him. this, Mr. Kelly. All right. I got this, uh, this guy. Pretty cool. Wants to move about five ounces. You know, I can't move that kind of action, so, uh, I figured I'd bring him to you. Mm hmm Dude says if the deal goes, uh, pretty good, uh, he'd like to move some bigger loads. He looks all right to me. Well, who is he? Where's he from? And where'd a punk like you come into that kind of action? Uh, I met him at the Methadone Center. Mm. He's running a few numbers, now he wants to expand. You wouldn't lie to me, would you, Ron? Who, me? Hey, man, why would I want to do that? You know, owning a bar... Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. It's a fascinating business. People tell you all the news all the time. Like how you lost the little foot race yesterday with the local constabulary. Ah, uh, it was just a rouse, Mr. Kelly. I mean, same thing happens to you all the time, right? Just aroused. True, true. But when you suddenly appear with a money new buyer, you must admit this cause for concern. Yeah, well, look, man, I don't need this. If you don't want the deal, I'll bring it to somebody else. I never rolled over on anybody else before. There's you no need for that, Ron. It's just a little reminder. I wouldn't want to get Clarence mad at you. you ever do that again, you hear me? Now, now, now. And in front of our poor misguided victim of society, you're gonna give him a bad example. Foster, you know, you brighten the room just by leaving it. Now let's get on with this. Any time. Lay it out. Okay, bad dude Kelly will be in the booth. We'll go over and find the table. Then Clarence will come over and shake you down. You ain't carrying no heat, are you? No, naked. Let's walk. Uh, me and you go over and see Kelly. After we've jived around a little, and if it's cool, Clarence will check out the, the bread, and you check out the stuff. Everything's OK? The deal goes down. You brought enough bread? Six Gs. Let's do it. All right. Just one more thing. What's that? I ain't going to go out front. I mean, these guys will kill me. If uh, the deal goes down, 
gotta bust me with the rest. Right? Any problems? Scared, Ron? Yeah. I'm scared. Well, don't be. Because I'm gonna be taking care of you. Just where are you gonna be during all this? Taking care of you too, Paulie. Taking care of you too. <laughs> Hey, take off your hat. What's that? You look like a foreigner. Yeah, I'm a foreigner. He didn't gentleman carrying anything? No. Sit down. Okay, nice and cool. I'll well, check and make sure. I tell you, I don't kiss on the first day. Good. The man's waiting on you. Ah, so now, Mr. Uh, I didn't get the name. That's right. Well, no matter. You come recommended. Now, tell me. What area do you intend in selling your wares in? Just as soon as you tell me who your connection is. You're not serious, are you? No, neither are you. Now, what are we going to do? Play some games here, or are we going to deal? I thought you told me this was ready to go. Patience, patience, gentlemen. There's no need to rush. I mean, if we're going to be business associates in the future, we should get to know each other a little better. I'm not looking for any new social circles now. I'm ready to deal with you. This is on your say-so. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Let's see the box. Just look, don't touch. Show and tell. You've seen mine. Now let's see yours. All right. I'll trade you my bread for yours. If you can't eat it here, though, we'll wrap it up for you and put it in a doggy bag. You got tied up in this sewer. Hmm? Got license and inventory, it must come to about 20 grand, right? It runs. <laughs> Mr. Kelly, have you thought about who'd be running this place while you're sitting in the joint? I'm listening. 
I'm looking for a pusher who gets concerned when somebody moves in on a burglary operation. And has the ability to hotshot him with an 80% smack. You guys don't want too much, do you? You're going to be the one sitting in that joint for a long time, eating a lot of bad food, not us. OK, OK. Maybe I can help you. But he's big, and I want a good trade. All right, I think we can give you a good trade. You'll take a fall, but you won't do any hard time. All right. Only if you come through, and if it pans out. You understand me? All right, all right. What do you want to know? What's Mr. Big's tie-in with burglary and narcotics? Easy. I mean, the hypes that do the jobs, that's how he pays them. With junk. Dell. Bobby Crash is one of the burglars. Not if he was calling me. I think he heard about the operation, tried to muscle in on it. When he couldn't, I think he tried to sell the information. Got killed for his trouble. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mr. Kelly, we got a deal? Just one more thing. What's that? Turn. I got to know. <laughs> Turner. <laughs> Turner, come on, babe, stand up. Stand up. Turn around. All right, thanks. You can take off. Hey, wait a minute. You can take off. We don't need you anymore. Why, man? Why? We got a deal. Ron, wait! You just killed him. Big deal. You handle the evidence. We'll book Mr. Kelly. I wouldn't want him to try to escape or resist arrest. Good-looking chick could maybe sit where you are, but you? Oh. All right, could you tell me what you know about Forster? Well, in his personnel file, which I checked out when you guys teamed up, it says he's one of the best narcs on the force, production-wise. He's got a fistful of commendations. He came out of NAM with mucho medals. No kidding. Belly gunner on a chopper. Got shot up pretty bad once. Where the big interest? There is something wrong with that guy. He's always getting into hassles with people. Like he's always in the right place at the right time. Well, sometimes it happens like that. The other night he laid out a snitch. There was no reason for it. Do you have proof of specific acts? Yes. Well, no, not exactly. But what do you want me to do? You come in here and you infer your work with the Marquis de Sade, but there's no proof. You want to talk to Internal Affairs? No, no more talking. You're right. You can't prove a hunch about a guy. Keep it to yourself. I understand you've been asking about me. You got big ears, Foster. And you've got a big nose. The better to smell a rat with. How'd you ever become a cop? You've got the guts of a hummingbird. Since when does courage equate itself with working over handcuffed prisoners or tossing a semi-conscious stiff around a bar? Mm -hmm. You have some kind of love affair with dope pushers. No, but I don't intend to start executing them on the spot, either. I'm warning you, Del Vecchio. Don't hang on my back. Look, Forster, there's nothing I want more than to end this case and get a divorce. Oh, and while we've got the gloves off, I want to tell you one more thing. The next time you call me Del Vecchio, I'm going to personally, by myself, turn your face into a former shadow of itself. Gentlemen, what can I do for you? We're, uh, looking for the owner, Mr. Moretti. What can I do for you? We've had an unfortunate death in the family. All deaths are unfortunate. 
Well, this was worse than most. He was very close. May I ask the name of the daily departed? Kelly. Timothy Kelly. Ah, yes. Very tragic. I knew him very well. So, uh, naturally, we want the best of arrangements. That would include the floral arrangements. Of course. Well, we have a very large line to choose from. Mm. Well, uh, one flower in particular was uh, Timothy's favorite. Oh, a beautiful flower. But very expensive. How expensive? 25. For quantity? How large? Three keys. 23. Good stuff. The best. OK. For good old Timothy's sake. Do you know where St. Finbar's is? Yeah. Good. A Catholic boy. Yeah. Be there tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Have a nice day. Sausage, want some? At 10 in the morning? Why, you gotta be somewhere? How can you eat that stuff at 10 in the morning? It's simple. First, you cut it down the middle. Then, you cut it into small pieces. Then, you put it in your mouth. Dill. Del Vecchio. Uh, Sergeant Del Vecchio, my name is Lloyd Jarris. The lawyer? That's right. As a matter of fact, I'm counselor of record for Mr. Tim Kelly. Uh-huh. This is a rather unusual situation, but uh, my client has asked me to contact you. What's on your mind? Mr. Kelly would like to see you alone. How are you, Paisan? I'm a lot of things, Kelly, but I ain't no Paisan of yours. Maybe. Are you going to be a lawyer? Yeah. If you're lucky, you can hire me to work on your next bust. Maybe. Maybe not. Look, Kelly, uh, we didn't come here to map out my career. What's on your mind? We ain't got no deal anymore. You're crazy. What are you talking about? My lawyer was getting ready for court this morning, and um, he uh, got some of those funny papers, you know, the, the ones that where you have to show us everything you have against Subpoena us. Subpoena Ducas take em. Yeah, yeah, Deuces take em. Stupid name. I think they talk English. Well, I saw how many reports your cops have to make. And what's more, I not only saw that our deal was off, but I'm going to take a walk all the way on that charge. I'm going to nail you to the wall. What are you talking about? Come on. You know how much I had, and I know how much stuff you put into your property room. And you took a little bit off the top. What? Yeah. And now I'm not too sure I might not burn the Moretti deal. That depends on you. <sighs> You know, Del Vecchio, I had you pegged for a lot more class. If you're gonna play the game, why not go for the big kill? I'm listening. All right. I can use a guy like you. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty for everybody. I got a partner. Like I said, there's plenty for everyone. I'll check it out. But don't take too long because I might have to tell the district attorney what I know, as every good citizen should. Well, and how come I never heard about no property audit? You work every day this week? Yep, except Tuesday. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? That's the one day we sent word down. See, we do this periodically. It helps keep our files up to date. Uh, well, I can appreciate that. Uh, what were the names you were interested in? Ron Turner, Tim Kelly. Turner and Tim Kelly. You know, some guys think all the rest of police work is making the bust. They don't realize how much work their systems people have to go through. Turner, Kelly. There you go. Uh, let me know when you're finished. Huh? Yeah, thanks.
Buster. How do you know he'll be here? The Moretti deal goes down at three. He should be getting ready to leave. Even if he is selling, there's no guarantee there'll be any stuff in the apartment. Yeah, but I'm betting there is. You hear anything? No, nothing. Kick it. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. There's no problem on this. That's all right. That's the way he plays the game. Kick it. Why? How did it start? You ever try to quit? Cold turkey. I couldn't handle it. Yeah. It's easier being a crooked cop beating up on hypes. All right, come on, needle nose. He's not going anywhere. The Moretti deal goes down in an hour. Was going down in an hour. No, it's still on. Not anymore. He's expecting the two of you. You're not going to play this alone. I know. I'm taking Forster with me. What are you talking about? Paul, it's the only way we're going to make the murder case. Forget the murder case. I can't forget it. And I can't trust my backside to no hype. It's bad enough in a narco case where you can't tell the players without a program without worrying about some crooked cop. He came through in Nam. Maybe somebody ought to give him the chance to come through again. Maybe we owe him. I'm willing to show him that trust. Hey, look. Look, I got enough troubles without having to worry about being a guardian angel to every vet. I didn't come back from Nam yelling, hey, cry for me, besides Mac, will never go for it. I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> You're beautiful. First, you want to lay my butt on the line for some hype, and if I come out of that all right, you want me to lay my job on the line. For what? For him? For nothing? Paul, listen to me. I'm not pushing anybody. I just want you to know where I'm coming from. I'm going to give him a chance, with or without you. Just do me one favor. Pass the bar exam. We're covered. Are you kidding? Everything we've passed for the last three blocks has been heat. 
We might get killed, but the money's safe. How do you feel? Terrible. Hanging us up. He's coming. I can smell him. Kidding. You said we're covered, right? Everything but dental. It goes nothing. Forgive me, Father. I have no confession to make today. Did you bring the money? That I got. Pass it in here. Where's the stuff? First the money. too attached to it. I haven't seen any of the stuff yet. In the piano on the altar. I'll wait. Stay away from me. Stay cool, Dad. Stay cool. Already. The church is surrounded. Give it up. Stay away from me. I'll kill you. A man your age? What are you gonna hit? I'll blow your head off. What's the back off? I'll kill you. Do it. Forced to get out of there. I'll kill you. Do
What is it? China White. You think it'll test out to 80%? <laughs> I wouldn't be at all surprised. Moretti just bought himself a murder rap. Dynamite. It's over. Not yet. You have to come in, Hank. Why? I did my part. You don't have to blow the whistle on me. But you just let me quit. That way nobody will know. That's just the point. You've come through. All your life you've come through. Do it one more time. Be a hero one more time. You can beat this thing. You could beat it. No. I can't. Yes, you can. I can't face those guys. I'm telling you, you can. I'm a hype. Nobody cares about a hype. You won't be alone, Hank. Switch that remote. Coming up next, Jan Michael Vincent stars as chopper pilot cellist Stringfellow Hawk in Airwolf, right here in TV Land.